Hey guys, welcome to chapter five, lesson one. Today we're gonna to be talking about modeling division. So we've been really focusing on multiplication and today we're gonna to look at its inverse operation or its opposite operation um, and look at division. So if you could read along with me, that'd be great. Uh, division is an operation with two numbers. One number tells you how many items you have the other tells you how many equal shares or groups to form or how many to put in each group. So if you have a problem like the one below, it says uh, 10 divided by five equals two. Um, so that division sign, when we're reading a division sentence, it would, we would say divided by. To divide means to partition or separate a number into equal groups to find the number of groups or find the number in each group. So let's take a look at division. Uh, let's do our first example here. Uh, first one says find how many in each group. Divide 12 counters into three equal groups. How many are in each group? Okay, so if I'm going to partition one counter at a time into a group until all the counters are gone, um, what I would do, so I have three equal groups. So if I wanted to draw this out, I could draw three boxes. And then a circle will be my counters. So um, I would say, okay, well, if I take one, two, three, and I'm going to keep counting until I get up to 12. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So if I have 12 counters and I'm dividing them into three groups, here are my three groups, I would get four counters in each group. So 12 counters were divided into three groups. There are four counters in each group. So 12 divided by three equals four in each group. So we would say 12 divided by three equals four. All right, or try it on the next page. You can always pause if you need some extra time while you're turning or writing. Here we go. It says find how many groups, place 12 counters in groups of three. How many groups are there? So I'm going to make groups of three until all the counters are, are gone. Okay, so what I could do here then um, is I could go, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So if I have 12 counters and I'm putting it into groups of three, not into three groups, but groups of three, I would get one, two, three, four groups. So 12 counters were divided into equal groups of three. There are four groups. So 12 divided by three is four. 12 divided by three equals four. Well, look at, did you, did you guys notice something? The other one was 12 divided by four equals three. And now this one is 12 divided by three equals four. Look at, we did a flip floppy thing here. We flip flopped, it's our divisor and our quotient are the name of those two numbers. So, but 12 remained in the front, and 12 is called our dividend. Um, so, let's do another problem. Explain how you divided 12 counters into equal groups. Okay. Um, well, for the first one, I drew um, well, how you divided 12 counters into equal groups. I drew equal groups of groups of count 
chapters. Um, in the first one, we're drawing equal groups of three, and the second one, well, of four, and the second one we drew equal groups of three. Um, so that's how we can divide them into uh, equal groups. Uh, we better put on here. I drew equal groups of counters. Um, we used um, uh, three and four groups. Okay. When you divided the counters into groups of three, how did you find the number of equal groups? Well, I spaced them out I spaced them out so I could see the equal groups Okay Number three, explain the difference between the way you partition the counters in the first activity to the way you partition, partitioned them in the second activity. Well, the first activity told me how many groups The second activity told me how many counters oops, were in each group. Okay, so the first one told us how many groups. The second one told us how many were in each group. So it, it did matter how we drew our uh, model. Here we go. This homework is on page 249. So you can pause the video and flip to there. Um, our first problem says partition, which means separate into equal groups, six counters, one at a time, to find the number of counters in each group draw the counters. So if I have six total counters, I'll do kind of what we did with the second example. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I have six counters and I'm dividing them among two groups, I'm going to get three counters in each group. So six counters were divided into two groups. Six divided by two is three equals three counters in each group. All right, circle each group of four to find the number of equal groups. So here we just have a bunch of counters out and I'm going to partition them into groups of four. One, two, three, four. Here's one group of four, two groups of four, three groups of four, four groups of four. So how many counters were there? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. There are sixteen counters. Another way I could have looked at this is multiplication. Because I have four groups of four counters. Four times four, if I count by fours, four, eight, twelve, sixteen. So that equals sixteen. Then I don't have to sit and count each individual counter. Um, so 16 counters were divided into groups of four. 16 divided by four is, how many are in each group? Or how many groups do we have? We have four groups. So 16 divided by four is four. Um, here we go. Nola has 16 bracelets. She hangs an equal number of bracelets on two hooks. How many bracelets are on each hook? Okay, so I have two and I'm dividing 16 among them. 
So I'm going to just do tally marks. One, 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 two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm going to make five in each one. So I have to do nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. So how many are in each group? Eight and eight. So my, it says we need to write a number sentence. So I would say 16 bracelets divided into two groups equals eight in each group. So how many bracelets are in each cook? hook? We'd say eight bracelets. Eight bracelets are in on each hook. All right, that's all I have for you for today. Make sure you ask if you have any questions and good luck on your assignment.